Hey guys, I'm Tanya, and today I'm here with my corgi puppy, Sploot, and today we're gonna show you all of the tricks that he knows, plus tips on how to train your dog. He's not a year old yet, so I'm still calling him a puppy, and he's got quite a few tricks down, so we're gonna show you today, right, Sploot? So let's get started. So when he was six months and under, I used this clicker thing a lot, and Sploot still recognizes what it means, and basically every time you click, it means he gets a treat. And I haven't used this anymore because Sploot can learn without it now, but I'd say as a puppy, it's really good to learn how to do tricks with this thing is he knows that a click means he's about to get a treat. So if you were using the clicker, this is how you'd use it. Paw. Good boy. So I like to use these Zoe Tender Bites treats. They're peanut butter and banana flavored. They're very small, so you can easily give these to him as a training type of treat. I also like using these now that he's a little bit older. These are s'mores dog treats I got from BarkBox in the most latest subscription. These ones are quite a bit bigger and I typically give these ones to him now when he does a bunch of tricks in a row and he only gets once of them a day. So now we're gonna show you all of his tricks. Sit. Good boy. Turn. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Sploot, can you give a kiss? Good boy. Sploot, can I have another kiss? Good boy. Down. Good boy. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Good boy, you can have it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy, you can have it. Selfie! Good boy! Stay. Chicken, window, duck, cow, come. Good boy! Good boy! So those are all of the tricks that he currently knows right now. I'd say that the hardest one to teach him was the come and stay. And my best tips for that one, I've realized that when he first got the hang of stay and come, he was coming every time I said anything. So I'd shout things like window, curtain, chicken, and he'd come running. And that's why I was throwing him off when I just showed you that trick. So when I realized that he was just coming whenever I said anything, he wasn't actually coming in the real world when I asked him to come. So then I started showing him the treat and saying come multiple times over so that he realized he only got the treat when he came on come. So then I started yelling random things to him like treadmill, horse, cow, car, anything that sounded like come and he eventually got the hang of it and now he actually comes on come. So I think that's the biggest tip. Now to get him to stay I would put my hand out like a stop sign type of thing and tell him a firm stay. In the beginning I took a lot of repetitive stays for him to actually stay but now he'll stay after saying it once. I think that the next cool trick that was kind of hard to learn but was really sweet was the kiss trick and basically I taught him the touch command first which I didn't show you in the montage because it's not something that I practice with him anymore, but it's when you stick your hand out and say touch and he sticks his nose onto the palm of your hand. Touch! Good boy! So he still got that one down path, I just didn't show it anymore because it's not a really exciting trick. And once he got that, I started saying touch and pointing at my lips. So every time I said touch, he would touch me on the lips. Then I just changed the command over to kiss and he started licking me on the lips and that's basically how I got him to start kissing as a command. The selfie trick slash how to film with your dog and get him to stay chill and sit in my lap for the video is that I totally tired him the heck out right before filming. I ran with him around until he was tired, that way he's smiling throughout the video and posing for selfies and calm and relaxed because he's already tired. So that's the trick on how I get him to take selfies. It's not actually because I say the word selfie, but he will look when I say selfie, so maybe he does have a down path. All right, oh, what a smiley boy, Sploot. Down was also a hard one for him to learn. And I basically had to point at the ground and say down while pulling his paws downward so that he'd understand that down meant he had to put all fours right down to the floor. This one took a lot of time and I did have to gently pull his paws down a lot for him to learn it, but now he's finally got it. And you wanna make sure that when you say the commands, it's a very firm command, like down, down. Good boy. So this is called Spot Farms Chicken Jerky. I found this in the local dog store and it's these giant strips of chicken that actually smell really good. And these are the ones that I, <laughs> where I make him do all of the tricks before he can have it. So now his big party trick is how he does the one where he lays down without touching the treat. Don't touch. The key is making sure that you say the firm command again, don't touch, and if he tries to go down, you just lift his chin up gently so he knows he can't touch it. You can choose whatever you want as the command, but I like don't touch because leave it is a different command for him. Because leave it's a different command where if something is in front of him or you toss something to the ground by accident, leave it is telling him to leave it. Whereas don't touch is when it's already on him and I don't want him to touch. 
Don't touch. Make sure you reward him with the good boy for not using the clicker, all the praise, and all the pets to make sure he knows that he's doing something right. The first trick that he actually learned was paw. Good boy. So I would just repetitively again pull up his paw every time I said paw so he understood that when I said those words or that sound, his paw would come up. Getting him to stand up slash high five was just telling him to go up and then changing the command once he realized what up meant. He got the motion of standing up <laughs> and I just had to change the command to high five. I sometimes also use stand up as well and he gets that. <laughs> Paws, good boy. High five, good boy. And as a last little bonus trick, this is something that he does after he uses the washroom outside. He wipes his feet on the rug before coming in in case he dribbled on his legs or anything of the sort. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. I don't really have any tips on how to really teach him. I just started doing the motion of wiping my leg and that got him to start doing it. So now he's super clean when he enters the house. Wipe your feet, Bloom. Good boy! All right guys, so that is basically the best tips that I know for how to train a corgi puppy. Maybe different for other breeds of dogs, but corgis are very easy to train, and I thought these were the best tips I could possibly give, and this was a highly requested video, so here it is. Be sure you give this video a giant thumbs up and comment down below and tell me any other tricks that you'd like me to teach Sploot. We're currently working on rollover, but it's not doing so well, so that's the current trick that we're working on. Be sure you subscribe for more videos of me and more videos of Sploot, and we'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Can you say bye? Can you do the outro for me? Bye! Shh.